one this here right here I kind of thought you know if you can hear me <laughs> I know today even back in November the edit got lost so let's try doing the comic book graphic novel and manga book club you know having a comical time this time we're having a comical time with Batgirl Cassandra Kane Batgirl and I really enjoyed it. We deal with Cassandra Kane dealing with, you know, living her life, being Batgirl. You know, she's got to fight crime and, you know, live a normal life. But because of, you know, the police have records, she can't live a normal life. <laughs> so she has to decide whenever she wants to live or not to live that is the question she decides to have lady sheba kill her and it seems like this isn't the end we still got one more volume to go and i really really enjoyed it it's written by kelly puckett drawn by david scott inked by i forget who the inker was and the color is Jason Wright. Chuck Jason also wrote <laughs> an issue here or there. It's just we deal with Oracle, you know, erasing Batgirl's history. So or <laughs> Batgirl has to get Oracle a tape from the government. Maybe the tape has some meeting things. We get to see Oracle, which I love <laughs> because Oracle is in a wheelchair, if you don't know. She was paralyzed in the killing joke. And I love, you know, people in fiction who are disabled because, you know, I'm disabled. It doesn't mean I don't like Cassandra Cain either. <laughs> it's just I love Oracle a little bit more. And that's why I was drawn to this book and The Silent Night, <laughs> which I picked up, I think, a couple of years ago. So I decided, hey, why not give the second volume a chance? And I really like it. You know, Kelly Puckett, she does a great job writing for Cassandra Kane. She gives her that wit and sarcasticness. My favorite line was <laughs> Apple Brain. <laughs> it seems Kelly Puckett always comes up with the best name calling for Cassandra K. The last volume it was Batman. <laughs> and yes, Batman does show up. I made a mistake last time saying that I thought Batman and her father David Kane were dead. It seems that they're not. They're still in this book. And you know, we all can make mistakes and you know we can interpret things differently. I thought they were dead. I thought she assassinated them. The art improved, I think, a lot. My complaint was that the backgrounds in in Silent Night weren't very distinct in To the Death. I feel that they upped their game. They showed Gotham as a more vibrant city. The coloring is a little more bright, vibrant, but I don't know. The coloring in Silent Night felt kind of more noir. This feels more manga. So, you know, you gotta pick your poison. There's one thing I really love about the art, and that is the borders on the panels. This is something that you might not have noticed, but the panels have a red color. I didn't even notice that the first time I read Silent Night, but I read this time, I'm like, ooh, that's kind of interesting. <sighs> <laughs> I 
The reason I didn't notice it was another mistake I think I read. Batgirl Silent Night in black and white with my video magnifier. Yes, I read comics with a video magnifier because my vision is 2600. Yep, in order for me to see it, I have to use a video magnifier, which I have back there. Showing off Silent Night. <laughs> Another thing, oh, we had an issue with Tim, Tim Drake. You know, he's kind of been a headline in the media a little bit lately with him with them coming out. I don't know what to think of that. But hey, I'll let the LGBTQ decide on that. All in all, I kind of see when how this thing ends. There's only three volumes, 12 issues a piece, which is pretty big. Usually sometimes it's just six issues of trade, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> I do. I like Cassandra Kane. I do. I think she's a great Batgirl. She kind of reminds me a little bit of Red Hood, even in the drawing with her mask on. I kind of like her with her mask off. It kind of gives her a distinct look. The mask kind of made me think, is that Red Hood or Batgirl? Then I found out it was Batgirl. It would be cool to see if Red Hood and Cassandra Kane interact. I bet they do that in Detective Comics Reapers. Lady Sheba, she's an assassin. <laughs> I like how in the end of the book it gave like little background information on Cassandra Kane, Barbara Gordon, David Kane, but they didn't give one for Sheba. I wish they gave one for Sheba. That would have been cool. <laughs> because I have a feeling most people don't know who Sheba is. <laughs> Yeah, they came far recorded too. I'm like, hmm. all in all, the team's doing a great job. <laughs> yep. Can you guys tell me what you've been reading lately? I kind of kind of doing some Batman stuff. I got Batman 66 to read, which will be the next book club <laughs> video thing. <laughs> yeah. Let me know what you thought of Batgirl. Sandra King. Listen, everyone, it's time to say goodbye. Jim, like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Always stay classy.